The Golden Retriever and the Doberman are both family dog extraordinaires and they fit into these roles with extreme ease. Are you considering either the Golden or the Doberman for your next canine companion? If so, then this video is for you as we will put these two breeds up against one another to see which one wins the title of being your next breed. dive into today's video and get right into the apparent differences between the Golden and the Doberman. The Golden Retriever is a medium sized dog with long golden fur and small triangular ears that flop down. They stand up to 24 inches tall and they can weigh up to 75 pounds. They have friendly dark eyes and often wear a pleasant expression. Their coats are always long but can be straight or wavy and are water repellent. The Golden comes in varying shades of gold from cream to deep gold. The Doberman is known to be an imposing breed. They are an athletic breed with their long spend muzzles, their dark intelligent gaze and their traditionally cropped ears and dock tails. The Doberman has a coat consisting of short, stiff hair and can come in many colours, but they are most well known for their black and tan coats. Dobermans can stand up to 28 inches and can weigh up to 100 pounds. Both the Golden and the Doberman are active breeds, but the Doberman's need for exercise far exceeds that of the Golden. While some working lines of Golden can be incredibly demanding for the consistent physical outlet and will require longer walks, hikes, or even very long and intensive sessions of fetch, the working lines of Dobermans need to be working almost 24 seven to really be satisfied. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. For grooming requirements, the Doberman will be the easier of the two. They have shorter coats and while they do shed, it is relatively easy just to give them a quick brushing with a firm bristle brush instead of sitting there and working the Golden's long fur out to make sure they're no mats. The Golden also needs some trim work done on their feet as they can grow hairy slippers that mat and trap dirt to be tracked into your home and uncomfortable for the dog. The Golden will need regular ear cleaning too, and so will an all-natural Dobie, as floppy ears can be notorious for ear infections if they're not kept clean and dry. As we go forward with the rest of the video, it will be with the assumption that the dog has been given proper socialisation and training from a young age. It will also be assumed that the dog has the correct temperament and disposition for its breed. The Golden is a lover. They are friendly, gentle and happy dogs. They tend to make quick friends with whoever meets them, with people and other dogs alike. Despite being a hunting dog, they can do very well with small animals if they get good introductions and plenty of socialisation with them. They're also great with kids and they are generally reliable and consistent with the household's younger members. Goldens would definitely be one of the extroverts of the dog world. They crave social attention and need to be a fully integrated member of the household to really thrive. They want to be wherever you are and doing whatever you're doing. On the other hand, the Dobie is not so gentle to those who don't know them. This alert, intelligent guardian breed isn't afraid to throw down if someone comes around with bad intentions. They can be a little standoffish and reserved with people that they don't know, but their families are a completely different story. They are active, happy companions that are sensitive to everyone they treasure. They take the term Velcro dog to the next level and will never ever be happy with life as an outside dog, but they don't get to lavish their owner with all the devotion that they have to offer. The Dobie is also a stellar dog to be around children. They take a more gentle and patient approach with little ones. With small animals, the Dobie can be a little bit of a toss up. They do have a prey drive and the best chance for success is to bring a Dobie into a home where there is already an existing small animal. They also do well with other dogs, but they may be suspicious and unwelcoming of canines outside of their household. On to trainability. We rarely have two breeds in these versus videos that are so evenly matched when it comes to how easy they are to train and their versatility. Being devoted and loving people pleasers, both the Golden and the Doberman just want to make their owners happy. This makes for an almost effortless training experience and they both catch on so quickly. They can pick up on complex behaviours with ease and can do almost anything you want to teach them. The most significant variation is that the Golden will probably always be better in the hunting and gun dog area and it will never be suited to do any of the protection work that just comes so naturally to the Doberman. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe because we have two dedicated Golden Retriever videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again in the next episode of the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show.